I grew up just outside of Madison um, in Mount Horeb, also known as the Trollway of Wisconsin. Um, so look it up if you don't know what the Trollway of Wisconsin is, but it's a pretty cool spot. I'm the volunteer manager here at Pillars, so I work with all of our volunteers at all of our sites, all of our volunteer roles that we have, making sure that they know what they're doing, ask, answer questions if they have any questions, and help with general logistics. We have over 1,500 volunteers, and that includes folks that volunteer with like our honorary crew, with maintenance, people who volunteer in our shelters, whether that's at like our front desk or um, come in with a church or civic group or school group to serve dinner, provide dinner. So we have a lot of folks in the community who are part of Pillars. What's been really hard recently is you know, we don't always have coverage in all of our volunteer roles. So working with our staff to figure out what that looks like while also trying to recruit new volunteers and understand that it's not always the right season for people and that's okay. While also having some work-life balance for myself <laughs> and knowing that we're gonna figure it out no matter, no matter what the day looks like. I really enjoy my conversations with volunteers. Um, it's always nice to hear about their experiences with clients and with staff and how much they enjoy coming back. We've got some new volunteers who've just started who really get it and understand how difficult um, experiencing homelessness or housing instability is and just wanna be, be a part of supporting our clients in that way. And we've got some volunteers that have been coming back for 20 plus years um, and are just really passionate about the mission. So I really enjoy getting to hear about, about what their experiences are. Folks see a lot of our volunteer roles maybe as something that you do in like retirement or you've don't have kids, have a lot of time on your hands. Honestly, we've got options from 5.30 in the morning until like midnight. So we've got lots of opportunities, lots of different spaces for, for people if they have different interests. And our volunteers are all, all a wide variety of folks and, and um, availability. So we've got some volunteers who come in once a week and that's what works really well for them. And we've got some volunteers who sign up once a quarter and that's what works best in their schedule so um, we're more flexible than you think. Not every season of life is going to be a season for volunteering and that's okay like you can take a step back and come back when life is a little less crazy. Uh, but really trying to figure out how you can support our clients as volunteers, whether that's providing a meal, um, dropping it off at shelter, we can always work around your schedule too, um, or spending some time at the front desk on the weekend. That's a, a time of day that we don't see a lot of volunteers, um, so we could always use more support there. Um, and if it's not time for you to volunteer, sharing with your friends that that that's something you're interested in doing at some point and a need that you see in the community and if it's something they're interested in they might come and reach out to us. Mm -hmm.